Hey everyone, so I've been very fortunate to find a total of seven Eastern Hognose this spring and early summer at my beloved Massachusetts Hognose spot. Now, except for this male, all others were gravid females. The most impressive and one of the largest hognose specimens I have ever encountered was this female, which was missing a tail. Now, it was an old injury, likely a predation attempt. Fortunately for the snake, it had healed over nicely. Here is one of two gravid females found last year with more recent predator injuries to their tail areas. You will notice what appears as chew marks on this female hognose as she crawls on by the camera. Any number of predators could be the culprit, but for what it's worth, captured on one of the trail cameras on the edge of the hognose nesting site was this fisher and a raccoon. Our tailless big female was captured on a second trail camera just feet away. Now overall, I have decent success finding hognose from late May through June as gravid females situate themselves for days or even weeks on the edge of nesting sites, preparing themselves for egg laying, which at this site seems to peak the last week in June. Females nest in the evening by excavating a cavity, which is aided by their upturned snout, known as the rostral scale, about six inches deep in sandy soil, depositing an average of two dozen eggs, but can lay up to 60. Postpartum females appear emaciated after laying their large clutches and will spend the remainder of the summer trying to gain their weight back, hunting for amphibians, namely toads. For a more in-depth look at the life history of the Eastern Hognose, including their defensive strategy, please check out my documentary I released last year, the link to which is in the description below. I put together this video, well, because I find hognose so fascinating and will always find an excuse every year to share some of my hognose encounters with those of you that are intrigued by this species as well. As a case in point, I particularly wanted to share the last gravid female hognose I encountered for the season. It was during a heat wave, so I decided to search in the evening, but it was still 91 degrees at 7 p.m. when I arrived which is way too hot for hognose to venture out into the open. So I decided to explore further away from the nesting site in dense vegetation where the temperature was a few degrees cooler and the humidity higher. All right, I have explored this area in the past, but not really in this thick vegetation, but because it's been so hot, uh, I feel as though, even though it's evening now, it's still near 90 degrees. And I swear, I keep thinking I hear something moving through here. But there is a breeze. I'm going to turn this off and try to work through here carefully. Okay, so I'm still not sure what we heard was a snake crawling through this underbrush. But I just found a hog nose. We're a good hundred and so feet from the sand dunes. So not sure if this is a gravid female. She looks gravid. I mean, today was so hot. She'll stay put here. Okay, she took off a little bit here, but here we have her a little bit more out in the open. She did defecate on me and all over herself. That's part of their defense. And the, the classic um, hooding, get the eye spots here. I don't want to stress her out too much because this is a gravid female. So look where she was hanging out. Fairly dense vegetation. You might get a hint of the sand dunes or one of the nesting sites over here. So this recent heat wave probably has drawn in all of the nesting females into this more moist, slightly cooler conditions. 
And when she's going to nest, she'll wait till it gets cooler. Uh, I don't know if it would be this evening, but over the next couple of days, after the sun sets, she will work her way to the edge of the sand pit, to the edge of the nesting site. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.